Now I'm going to show you how to do a brake inspection. First thing you want to do is pop off the cap if it has one. Next thing you want to do is loosen up all the uh, lug nuts. It really doesn't matter what pattern you do it in. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Next you want to jack up the vehicle. You can either do that by a suspension component like a shock or a control arm or something along those lines. You always want to do it at a solid point on the vehicle. Um, I'm going to use the cross member under the engine. Most people on smaller cars use the pinch weld. The reason you loosen the lug nuts first is because the tire is going to spin if you have a two wheel drive vehicle and you're not on the drive wheels then the uh, tire is going to spin. So that's why you want to loosen the lug nut first then jack the car up. Make sure you don't take the lug nuts off obviously or the wheel could fall off. Make sure you include your uh, safety jack stand as well as the jack. Next take off all five lug nuts and uh, you may have to kick the wheel or the tire to get the wheel to come off because sometimes they get rusted on. I want to put a little bit of anti-seize where the wheel meets the uh, rotor just so it doesn't get corroded on there. I'll do that in between all of them all the way around. You know, put your wheel back on, put your lug nuts on as tight as you can by hand with this, lower the vehicle down, and most vehicles is going to be between 100 and 120 of 20 foot pounds for your torque on your lug nuts, and you're always going to want to do a star pattern. You're not going to want to just go in a circle or anything like that, so make sure you're going to star pattern. You want to put your cap back on, you always want to pump the brakes about 10 or 15 times after you do a brake job to make sure that the pistons compress on the pads which compress on the rotor so you don't go flying out on the road. So make sure you get some resistance on your pedal before you go for a drive. 